Alright, so before I head out, how to give y'all the view before I left. I had to get the view. This is the view, man. Four o'clock in the morning, the view of the farmhouse. I just wanted to give you all the view, man. I decided to sneak out this time, you know. Sneak out this time while the kiddos are freaking asleep. Decided to sneak out this time while the kiddos are asleep. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy. It's getting harder. It's getting harder and harder, but they, but they know, they know what's up. They know daddy got to get to the money. They know daddy got to get to the money so mama can keep on giving the honey. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to give you all the view. Uh, today's, um, shoot, I think today's Tuesday, right? So, I was able to book a load with the Blue Star, obviously, from the house. Uh, at the farmhouse, I'm about 160 something miles away from Houston, like 170 miles away from Dallas. Cause obviously, you know, if some of y'all ain't be keeping up, the kid ended up moving out here in the country. We ended up moving out here in the country, you know, trees and whatnot. So that's why we ended up moving, man. 80 some acres now. I ain't tripping. I ain't complaining. I like it. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I like it, I like it, I like it, man. So, that's all. I don't know what's up with this damn low bed thing. See, it's weird. That's off. Turn that on. There's, there's some kind of uh, computer folks going on. See, there you go, come back. Delay reaction, man, but yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna get and inspect this one more time. I just inspected it one more time. I just see a damn thing. Let's inspect it again. Something got to give, damn it. Something has got to give when you're... It's trucking, baby. It's trucking. I haven't had to do any repairs in a while. So I guess the truck just feeling kind of neglected. Kind of jealous. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to give you all that good morning, man. We're going to go ahead and see if we can pull out, damn it. The good thing is to like Good thing we can still damn see, cause it's just a damn high beam. I mean, low beam. My bad. We're gonna try to fix that as soon as possible, though. Don't don't get it twisted. We're gonna. Oh, you know what? I need to put the address where I'm going, man. Anyways, let me get back with y'all. <sighs> YouTube, man. What is going on? What is going on? We're done driving for the day. 534 miles, easy work, easy work. And the only reason why that is how far we got, ladies and gentlemen, is because we had to pick up the load. We had to go from the farmhouse to the door. <laughs> we got two phones, one for the door and one for the, yes, sir. So that's what we had to do. We made it to Houston. We got the load and we still, we still put in about 300 miles of some change. 
and now we are actually, I believe in Texarkana, past Texarkana, we are about, we are 462 miles away from the destination, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to Illinois. That is where we're going. We're going to Illinois. Since I started updating y'all, I got like 20 minutes. I'm at 20% left. I'm going to hurry up. I left the house. I pick up the load, made it over here. And I was thinking, I was thinking. I want to give you a scenario and you all tell me what you're thinking. Now, imagine you've been a college student, right? You go to college. Imagine three days in college. You all this time go out there and try to teach your professor the freaking subject you went to college for. Imagine you, yeah, I don't know, let's say math, English, whatever. Let's, let's just say you just, two days, it's not that you're a prodigy or nothing like that. It's just because you knew these other students that want to come in here for this class. You decided, you know what, I can teach this class. You start to teach other students about the subject you are in college for. Like, how, how does that fly with y'all? We're talking about two, three days. We ain't talking about, oh, this man has been in college for at least a year two years so therefore he got enough knowledge to teach other people in this subject how do y'all feel about that one thing i have noticed that's what y'all letting a whole lot of people get away with in trucking y'all are letting people that come in trucking let it like for like four days or four months start teaching other people about trucking bro you don't know about trucking Come on, baby. You don't know nothing about trucking. You haven't been to the trenches in trucking. Half of you haven't even drove in all the conditions and terrains in trucking to be out here making videos and teaching people jack about trucking, man. I was just thinking, is that just me? That this does something to, am I a hater? Am I being a hater? Or do somebody else feel the same? Because I'm seeing a lot of these new YouTubers just come in the business. Some of them are trying to teach you, talk to you about trucking before they even finish driving school. Like, what, what the hell? This is where there's so many misconceptions about trucking. Too many, man. There's too many teachers in the, in the game of the arts and too many young bucks, newcomers, getting so many conflicted informations from people that ain't really been in the game, that haven't even gotten their, their some young people snap on this business. You know, those are the ones. How are you gonna be a student, teaching a student as if you already master a subject you still learning? You ain't even got you ain't even got a hair in your chest in the game of trucking. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then you know, of course, they're gonna get a cloud or whatever, blow up and all this and that. And then the young people, the young members of trucking, gonna come and pay attention to them. This ain't no hate. I'm just saying, man, y'all, please be careful, bro. Give yourself some time to make some effing mistakes out here, man. Give yourself time to make some mistakes so you can actually tell people how to avoid them mistakes. Becoming a YouTuber should not be your motivation to get into trucking. We get, well, that should not be your motivation to get into trucking. And I feel like some of you new truckers, that's literally, you just want to come in because you see a whole bunch of other people freaking trucking, doing YouTube. Therefore, you want to come and do YouTube. That's fine. You got the charisma, that's cool. You got the appeal, that's cool. But give yourself time, man, to get in the trenches first. First get in the trenches so you can actually tell somebody how to get out the trenches, bro. You cannot be standing right here on top of the trenches about to get in, teaching somebody how to get out the trenches. It make no damn sense. That's why too many mistakes. These young folks coming out here with too many unrealistic 
expectations in trucking because y'all learning from people who haven't experienced nothing. You're learning how to be an owner operator from somebody who's seen a damn company driver. You're learning about how to be an owner operator from somebody who just became an owner operator two weeks ago. You're learning how to back up what to expect in DOT uh, 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 inspections from somebody who's still in truck and school. Come on, baby. Talk to me. Talk to me. And I ain't trying to be a hater. I know. Somebody gonna say, oh, here go. Oh, hey, Nash Brown skin again. Big ass gap out here looking like the damn bush in the national airway. Hey, say what you want to say. I was just thinking about it, man. A lot of people are coming this game. A lot of people have made mistakes. Mainly a lot of young truckers. When I say young, I'm not talking about age. I'm talking about experience-wise. Coming here with unrealistic expectation because of what they see and what they learn. There's two type of you, uh, trucking bloggers. Those that, out, that overdo this shit give you some false expectations and that's those are the ones that are more appealing you know people gonna follow them or whatever but please man look bro if you one of them get in the trenches get out of the trenches before you start teaching somebody how to get out of the trenches when you ain't even in there yet that's it i ain't trying to be a hater i ain't trying to be a hater. i just want to say man i just want to say i feel like if we actually give if you give yourself time to learn first before you start teaching, I believe the ex people's expectation coming truck will be more realistic instead of majority of us just giving them stuff we don't really know. You know, that's the reason why I don't like people that run trucking companies who never been behind the wheel. And you can tell the difference. You can tell if somebody that owned a trucking company ever drove a truck before. And you can tell the one that never have. It's the same thing. Don't be out here making videos that teaching things that you haven't been through, okay? It's okay, go ahead and, and video your journey, do a blog, that's fine. I do that, every now and then I drop a gym. But this one was just hitting on me, and I am and I just wanna point that out. I ain't hating, baby. This ain't no hate, it's nothing but love, baby. Until next time, we're out here in Arkansas. <laughs> you know what the deal is, right? Oh, mama! There goes that man. <laughs>